Hello, my kindergartners, first graders, and second graders. It's so good to see your faces. I wish I could see your faces, but I hope it's good to see my face. So first of all, I would like to introduce a friend of mine who is so excited to meet you guys. This is, step up, this is Rue. Now Rue, uh, we got Rue just about a week before everybody started doing homeschool. So she's been around for a while and she might be a little talkative today. She is what's called a sun conure. So she is a conure, it's kind of like a parrot. She looks kind of like a parrot. So some of you can maybe be like, what, that's a parrot, you're right. Um, but specifically she's called a sun conure and she is only about four months old. So she's gonna get a lot older. They live to be about 20 years old. And when she gets older, all of this kind of green, she's looking to step up. Yeah, she's gonna get a lot more yellow on her head and really brightly colored bird. So she's gonna be hanging out with us today. Yeah, see? And yeah. So we're gonna start off with our welcome song. Now, first graders, you'll remember this from a while ago. Second graders, I have not taught this to you, so this is going to be a new thing. And then kindergartners, you'll be awesome at this, so you can teach your parents. So, I'll sing it for you first. Uh, so, second graders, pay special attention. Here, you want on my shoulder? Come here, step up. On my shoulder. She likes to hang out with people. So, um, Second graders, pay close attention. I'm gonna sing it for you once. Kindergartners in first grade, you can go ahead and sing along if you'd like. So it goes like this. Welcome boys and girls, welcome boys and girls. It's so nice to have you here, welcome boys and girls. Super simple. And you can't even see, I'm playing a guitar. I've got a guitar down here. Let me see if I can adjust so you can see it a little bit better. My phone's been falling off the uh, spot where I put it. There we go. All right. So we're going to sing it and we do it two times. So let's sing together. Ready? Two, three, and everyone. Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome, boys and girls. It's so nice to have you here. Welcome, boys and girls. One more time. Welcome, boys. Awesome. So I started with that because I know it's always good to have a little bit of familiar stuff. Whoops, Rue's falling over. So um, this week, first of all, I hope you all had an awesome, awesome Easter. And I hope you're all doing so well and you had a great spring break. Hi. You have fun singing along? Yeah. So this week we have a few awesome activities for you. Now first thing you're going to need, and I have this on the website, you're going to need some sort of sticks that you can hit together or roll around on the floor. Um, things you're gonna use them this week. You are so talkative. Come here, step up. Come here. I didn't expect to be this talkative on your perch. Here, have something to eat. So, we're gonna do a little review first of all. So we're gonna learn about ta and TT. You've gotta go home. Come here. Let's send her home. She's a little talkative today. You gonna go home? All right. So oh. now today we are going to learn about some rhythms. Now kinder, we've done some rhythms with our bodies, but I'm going to teach you a little something new today. So pay attention. Second grade and first grade, this might look familiar. So this will be more of a review. So we're going to learn about ta and tt. Now let's start with ta. Now ta is just one note. So we're just going to clap it. I'm going to Put it, let's see. So ta, there's ta. We're just gonna clap it once. It goes like this. Ta. That's it. Everybody do it with me. Are you ready? Go. Ta. Super simple. Excellent. Now the next one, T T. Now notice there's two of them and they're connected at the top right there. See that? I like to call them twins. They're kind of like twins. So now T T is a little faster than ta. And since there's two of them, we're going to say it twice. It goes T-T. 
Ready? Do it with me. T, T. Perfect. Just like that. So if we put them together, we could do something like this. Ta, T, T. There it is. Do it with me. Ready? Two, three, and go. Ta, T, T. Excellent. Now guess what? We can also switch them around. Now I'm going to give you a second to think what might that sound like? Hmm. Think about that for a minute. You get it? Let's see. Let's do it together. Ready? Two, three, and go. T, T, ta. There it is. Now remember that ta has got to last a little longer than those T, T's. So let's try two T, T, ta's put together. And remember, ta lasts a little bit longer. So here's how it goes. Ready? Two, three, and go. T, T, ta, T, T, ta. Super easy. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Two, three, and go. T, T, ta, T, T, ta. Excellent. So now, with this rhythm, you're going to be using your T, T, ta rhythm with the next activity called Cumberland Square. Now, I'm going to teach you the actions to Cumberland Square so you can do it with me, but I want you to get good enough to do it on your own. So you can go ahead and watch my video and do it with me, but then I'm going to challenge you and see if you can do it without watching the video and just listening to the music using your T-T-TA rhythm. All right. Also, um, parents, there's a few other activities that I've put up. There's Mr. Sun. I've attached a document of uh, actions for Mr. Sun. That's a lot of fun. Um, and then um, another rhythm stick activity that's run by another teacher. And also at the bottom of the website, there are some brain break activities. So if your kids are just kind of needing a break, to move around, just relax a little bit, get some break from schoolwork, or if you're needing a break from schoolwork, if you know what I'm saying, then I have those brain breaks down at the bottom of the homepage. Um, and again, I'll be posting new material every week and activities for your students to, to work, work through and participate in and all that awesome stuff. And don't forget, feel free to email me. There's a button right at the top of the page there, big purple button that says, send me an email, and I'll be able to answer you pretty quickly. All right, kiddos, I will see you uh, next week.